بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد continuing on with some of the علامات اهل السنه والجماعه the first one we mentioned was انقياد الانقياد ورجوع الدليل من كتاب الله وسنة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. The first sign that we mention is that أهل السنة والجماعة that they return back to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم for the evidence, is for their evidence for how they understand the religion, how they understand the creed, how they understand how they practice their manners, how they understand how to deal with one another, their معاملات and فق and everything. The second characteristic that's very important for us Asami'u ta'a wa taslim lillah wa li rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ta'atil li uli li uli al-amri min al-muslimin min ghayr ma'asiyatillah So the second characteristic that Ahl al-Sunnati wa al-Jama'ah possesses is that they listen and obey and they are comforted by hearing and obey Hearing and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His commandments, and that of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi afdal salatu wa salam. And that they also adhere and are obedient to the Muslim leadership, the leaders of the Muslims, except in ma'asiyatillah. As many a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrate that for us. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, As-sami wa ta'ala mariya al-Muslim, fi ma uhibbu wa kariya ma lam yu'miru bi ma'asiyatin, fi idha umira bi ma'asiyatin, fala sam'a wa la ta'a. Then a Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in that hadith, hearing and obeying the Muslim leader, and that which you love and that which you hate, as long as he does not order you to do masiyah, to do sinfulness, to do wickedness, to do the muharram, to do that which goes against kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you obey him. And the ulama, they explain that when you disobey the leader in doing sinfulness, for example, if the leader orders you to take interest, or the leader orders you to, to use drugs and alcohol, or the leader orders you to make zina, then you do not follow them in that. But that does not nullify, nullify all of their ta'a, that does not nullify all of their disobedience, because they have ordered you to do something sinful. But rather, you do not follow them in that sinfulness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَعْتِيُوا اللَّهُ وَأَعْتِيُوا رُسُولُ وَأَوْلِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ فَإِن تَنَزَعْتُ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَعْوِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear for us that we hear and obey the leader. We hear, we, we hear and obey Allah, first and foremost, and the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. And those charged in authority amongst you, meaning the Muslim rulers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them all to that which is khair and correct. And those that have left the fold of Islam, may Allah bless them to return, because if the leaders are on misguidance, then the mujtama, the society, will be open to misguidance. So the Salaf used to make dua and supplicate for the rulers. And there's many athar of Imam Ahmed wa ghayri from the Salaf of Saleh, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, in which they said, which means that if I were to supplicate on behalf of anyone, it would be the leader. Because when the leader is corrected, it corrects our dunya and the affairs of the religion because the leader is responsible for to implement implementing the sharia in the society as well as all the individuals as as individuals but the leader has a a, a great responsibility and with that responsibility also comes that the people are obedient to them and that's what keeps the the society pure from rebellion, pure from uh, excessive uh, ma'asiyah and disobedience, and pure from those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from the people of takfir wa kufr. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.